What's going on guys, Nathan here, and I am at DAFA, the Digital Art Fair of Asia. As you already know, NFTs are super, super hot right now, so we're gonna go inside and we're gonna talk to different creators, artists, and blockchain enthusiasts about what they think about NFTs and where it's going to go. So I'm sitting here with... Tijerian Howard, I'm the founder of Digital Affair. So my first question is, how did you come up with this whole idea? Um, so I've always been in uh, arts management, so I used to manage international art galleries and uh, museum collection. And uh, a couple of years ago, I started realizing that uh, a lot of artwork start like going online people are interested in uh, more uh, dynamic artwork interactive immersive experience and i try to do it in hong kong with uh, auto affair and eventually figure out that i might as well just do it myself so this is how the idea started great okay so here's a question about nfts and digital art do you feel like it's undervalued over hype or just right oh wow um I mean, for sure, there are some artwork that is at a really high price, like people on CryptoPunks. And again, I, I don't think they're overpriced. And I mean, to a lot of people, it's what they would like to pay for. Um, but I do think that it's just the, the beginning of NFT art and for a digital art as well. Um, so I, I definitely think that the price is in the, in the, in the starting point. So it's, gonna, it's probably going to have you know, more going up in the future. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. So I'm sitting here with my buddy, Nick from Refinable. NFTs and digital art, would you say undervalued, overhyped, or just right? I think it's just right. I think one of the things that you learn sort of uh, being in the art market or even in the digital arts market, it's that some people might think it's overpriced. Some people might think it's underpriced, but that's how price discovery really works. As long as you find one buyer to kind of take it off your hands, then that is the right price at that moment. So I, it's really hard for me to say whether it's overvalued or undervalued, but I think it really depends on if there is a market, if people believe in this and how we can you know, onboard the next billion people onto NFTs. Cool, man. Thanks for your time. Thanks, man. All right, guys, so I'm sitting here with James Neary okay. for NFTs and digital art in general. Do you think that they are undervalued right now, overhyped, or just right? Depends on the art. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So. so some of it I think is undervalued, and some of it I think is just right, and it's like Goldilocks, and some of it's, <laughs> some of it's just too, a little bit too expensive. I mean, obviously, the excitement at the moment is in the PFPs, uh, whether it be the CryptoPunks or the uh, Bored Apes. Um, or also the historical artifact stuff, including the curio cards. Um, but from my own personal taste, I like the stuff with more, more an art, art side to it outside of the collectibles and the PFPs. So, you know, stuff like uh, Rafiq, stuff like Beeple, Pack, um, Tom Sachs as well, I quite like. And what we're seeing already is we're seeing a lot of traditional artists start to move into the medium, whether it be Damien Hirst, Tom Sachs, uh, Murakami, um, et cetera, et cetera. And we're just gonna see more and more of that. Cool, man. Cheers. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. You want your microphone back? I will take it. Thank you. Okay, Appreciate thank you. you taking the time. Really. Cheers. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm here with my buddy Aldrich from Block Hype. Let's talk about NFTs and digital art, like generally. Would you say that they are undervalued, over overhyped? or just right at this phase? Um, I think there's a lot of hype right now, but yet um, it's the support of the community, right? Uh, that's why there's a strong following. So for me, I'm a big fan of DJ and Ape Academy. <laughs> so- He's uh, a DJ. Yeah, I'm a DJ and I love apes. And you know why DJ and Ape Academy's floor, floor price have been going up is because, you know, other than the artwork being nice, it's the community. It's like you post it's like you could be like a crypto noob in Twitter and post like one DJ, one ape. You get like a, like a few hundred followers of like these DJ ape right away. Without this community, it's nothing. So you know, it's it's a bit subjective, right? And how big is the community? How big the support is? Depends. Yeah. 
Cool, man. Thanks for your time. All right, guys. So I'm sitting here with my buddy, Paul Howard from BlockFi. Undervalued, overhype, or just right? Digital art and NFTs. So two quite different things. Uh, digital art is a separate, uh, I would suggest, asset class of artwork. NFTs are the ability to authenticate anything from art to a song, to a house, to anything else that may exist. Now, the question of whether or not they may be overpriced or overvalued, I think is probably in the eye of the beholder. We have seen virtual houses selling for a quarter of a million US dollars here from Chris to Kim. We have seen uh, asset prices inflate from Beeple's latest works all the way through to pieces of work from, from you and I and local artists here in Hong Kong. And I guess the simple way is to, as I said, see the value in the eye of the beholder. Nice, that's a great answer. Thanks for taking the time to interview with us. A Appreciate pleasure. it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I'm standing here with Leslie Chow from Gen. Let's talk about NFTs and, and digital art, the whole the whole craze, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think it is at this moment mm -hmm. undervalued, overhyped, or just right? <laughs> well, valuation is really tough to say. Um, we def definitely have been seeing a lot of auctions from Sotheby's and Christie's, so the momentum is over there. Is is there? But as I mentioned, I think this is a tool that is going to uh, disrupt the art market and uh, is here to stay. Um, you know, whether it is valuable or not, it's really depending on the underlying IP. Um, I think that's really important to understand. Um, so it is about the underlying assets, the underlying creation uh, that the NFT comes with. Um, so I think that is a really uh, important concept that we all need to think about. Mm -hmm. Got it. That's a, that's a really good answer. Cool, man. Thank all you for right, your time. You. Yeah, thank I appreciate you. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm sitting here with my buddy. Hey, my name is Derry. So Derry, tell me, you're an artist here, right? Correct, yeah. So what kind of art do you do? So my, my work is very much based on photography. Uh, we've done a little bit of video work here as well. Um, this piece that I'm stood behind is actually a massive collage of seven years of my photographs. Um, yeah, so my section is very, very much based on photography, which is what I do for a living. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let's talk about NFTs and digital art in general. Um, so during this phase, at this moment, would you say that they are undervalued, overhype, or just right? I think right now it's, it's just right. Um, I think especially in Hong Kong, people are still discovering it. So it's been, it's been great to be part of this event where we can educate people on NFTs and the new way of uh, accessing artwork on a digital platform. Cool, man. Thanks so much cool. for your time. Pleasure. My name is Herman Raman. I am the art tech manager for Digital Art Fair. For NFTs, you look at Beeple who's like, you know, selling millions and millions of dollars worth of work, which is great for him. But also we have to look at how the value of what NFTs give to communities and underrepresented artists. And I think that is something that is more interesting in my perspective because you're given you're not going through the tra traditional gallery system. So obviously I think, you know, the, the higher selling artists, whatever, might be overhyped, might be this, might be that. But then it's about finding the balance and sort of like redistribution of power to the artists who are underrepresented and who want to make work and who want to sell work. So I don't know if it's overhyped, but I think it's going through a phase now which we hope would last uh, a really long time. So it can help everyone uh, that needs to be helped, who are talented and have opportunities that NFT can, uh, NFTs can help with. So yeah. Cool man, thanks for your time. No problem. Yeah. Alright guys, that's it. Big shout out to my buddies over at Genesis Block. You guys are killing it and I'm really happy to be here at the Digital Art Fair of Asia. So what did you think of this style of content? Did you like the interview style? Did you not like it? Please let us know in the comments. We're gonna try to do a lot more content like this for you guys since now the pandemic is semi over and the world is opening up a little bit. So we're gonna try to meet a lot more people and start this new community series where we talk to different people in the community and experts in the space. So thank you again for watching. Please let us know your thoughts and I will catch you next time. Bye.